By the summer of 1940, the Germans had overrun most of Europe. By the 26th of August, they'd been hammering the RAF for more than a month ahead of a planned invasion. That day, a dozen Dorniers took off from a base at saint trond in Belgium, soon joined by scores of fighters. The bombers were to act as decoys, luring the RAF's fighters into an aerial trap. They crossed the North Sea towards Kent. As they approached the, the mouth of the Thames estuary, they then turned south, uh, roughly towards RAF Manston in Kent. Uh, it is believed the idea of this was to bring up uh, as many RAF fighters as possible, uh, because at the same time the Luftwaffe had a, a massive formation, at least three wings of single-engine fighters to counter the RAF. Most of the RAF fighters scrambled to meet the attack were Spitfires and Hurricanes. Soon they were engaged in a fierce dogfight with the bombers and their fighter escorts. But a few of the RAF planes were defiance, less manoeuvrable, and with a two-man crew and distinctive machine gun turret behind the pilot. Among the Dorniers was Aircraft 5 Conrad Anton Richard. The RAF fighters actually managed to get in amongst them. The Defiance managed to get into the bomber formation and it's believed got underneath them and used their turrets, which were behind the pilot, to shoot down a number of their aircraft. Five Conrad Anton Richard was among those hit. The stricken plane flew on south, out towards the channel, rapidly losing power and height. With no chance of reaching home and safety, the pilot chose to bring his aircraft down on the water. But when his wingtip touched the surface, he lost control. The plane flipped and ended on its back. Then it slowly sank to the seabed 50 feet below, where the shifting sands soon covered it.